What's good YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and I'm about to hit up another Goodwill see what I can find to sell on eBay and on Poshmark and as you guys know I just moved to Arizona so I'm still trying to just get used to the area and see what places like Goodwill and Savers have in stock so let's see what I can find. Alright y'all, so as you can see I'm in the shoe section and I came across a pair of Jack Purcells. I usually would pick these up because these are pretty dope but they are a little too dirty for me. Uh, next I found a pair of SAS shoes and these are actually for women and these are uh, SAS stands for San Antonio shoes. So I'm definitely going to pick those up. They should sell for about 40 bucks. Here was a pair of Nike Freeze. Way too much money for me. Next was another pair of Nikes with the waffle, uh, with the waffle sole. Uh, those are a little too beat up so I had to pass on those as well and here was a pair of Converse's but they were asking for 25 bucks Bruh. so of course I just put those back and next I found a pair of Brooks running shoes and I found two pairs of these previously so Brooks is probably going to be one of those brands that I find most often out here these should sell for about 40 to 50 bucks 12 dollars a little more than I'm accustomed to but I might take a chance on these uh, this is just a bolo for you guys. Um, they were asking 10 bucks for these, so I'll probably come back on the half off day or when it's actually the dollar day here. But these Tyndale jeans were just way too expensive. They were asking 10 and 13 dollars, but these jeans usually do sell for about 25 to 30. So if you guys come across these pants and that price range is good enough for you in terms of profit, definitely check them out. And as you can see, there were like six pairs of those jeans here, so I'll definitely come back for those. Next was a really good find and they're asking nine bucks for this which is pretty comparable to what I'm used to spending for blazers and this was actually from Harris Tweed and Harris Tweed is actually the fabric uh, not necessarily the brand but anytime I find these blazers I usually always pick them up only thing is you definitely have to look over them really really carefully because they, they might have some moth holes or some really tough stains that can't get out. Now this one was a really pleasant surprise. For only $2.99 I found a really nice Filson shirt. Really dope, really clean, no holes or anything like that. And as you guys know, Filson is a really good brand. So this shirt should sell for about 40 bucks for me. And I'm surprised that it was only $3. So absolutely grabbing that one. This was also a really interesting piece. This one was kind of faded, but I do know that these large uh, ponies, the big pony uh, Ralph Lauren shirts, these usually do pretty well on eBay for me. I usually get about 30, 35 bucks for these. This one is a little too faded, so I'm going to pass on this one. But if you guys come across any of these polo shirts, definitely grab those up because those usually do sell pretty well. Uh, this was a really good find as well. This one was a Lululemon pullover. And Lululemon doesn't sell for as much as it used to for me. I used to sell Lululemon as soon as I list it. Nowadays, it still sells, but it sits for a little while until I get the right buyer. This piece should sell for about 40 to 50 bucks. So even though it's $12.99, I'm going to still take a chance on it because I'm pretty sure it will sell pretty quickly, especially since it is a long sleeve. Now, this shirt, in my opinion, drop a comment if you guys agree. In my opinion, this shirt is dope. I don't know. Maybe I'm just out there when it comes to style, but this one was dope to me. If it was my size, I would have absolutely kept this shirt and I would have wore this on vacation because I'm turning 30 this year and I'm going to go on a cruise and I would have rocked this shirt every day on that cruise. But shirt's a little too big for me, so I'm just going to grab this one up to sell it. This is a Bonobo shirt, so this should sell for about 25 bucks. Next was a really good find. They were asking $12.99 for this Lacoste polo shirt, but the cost polo shirts with brand new with tags those usually do really well those sell for about 45 to as high as like 60 bucks i've seen on ebay and this is a size 5 which uh, like equal to a large so i'm definitely going to grab that one up and next up was this shirt from the brand cool cool is one of those brands i've been sourcing forever at this point they, they always sell pretty fast for me especially their cargo pants and for five bucks, this is something that I usually would spend just around the same price point for. So this one should sell for about 25 bucks for me as well. So I'll definitely grab this one up. All right, y'all. So we are in location number two. And the good thing about Arizona so far is that there's practically a Goodwill or some type of thrift store on every corner. So when it comes to sourcing, I shouldn't have a problem with that. But this shirt was dope in my opinion, just a little too pricey. If you guys find a similar one, definitely pick it up for if as long as it's cheaper. Next was this Etone shirt and uh, Etone or Eaton, whichever way you want to pronounce it. This shirt usually does do well for me probably sell it for about 40 to 50 bucks and this one was really dope because it did have that contrasting collar on there so definitely be on the lookout for this brand anytime i find it i usually always sell it 
Next was this pair of Armani jeans. This is actually my first time finding this brand. Um, I was checking the comps on eBay and I was only seeing them sell um, like in Europe. So I don't know if that means the, the audience is there and it might end up being uh, sold uh, via the global shipping program. But who knows? We'll see. I'll definitely still pick it up and give it a shot. Next was just this one brand that I came across for the first time. I thought it was a really high quality shirt just based on the stitching and the color, but this shirt really doesn't sell for much, somewhere between 15 and 16 bucks online. So I'm definitely going to pass on that, but um, it was still a really nice shirt. All right, y'all, as you guys can see, I wasn't able to pick up a ton of heat in today's video, but that's usually just how things go when it comes to thrifting, especially for me since I'm brand new to the area. There's still a lot of other thrift stores and a lot of other sourcing opportunities that I just didn't learn about yet but trust me this is definitely just the beginning as you guys know I told you in one of my previous videos I'm gonna start getting into wholesale as well as some other sourcing opportunities so stay tuned for that because as of right now if I was to just try to only source from places like Goodwill and Savers there definitely wouldn't be enough profit to be made on a lot of these items but I just wanted to show you guys what it's like moving to a brand new area and still just trying to figure things out because as of right now I'm only finding some of the basic brands that I'm usually accustomed to brands like Cool and that Lacoste polo that should sell for about 50 bucks that was a really good find and that Harris Tweed blazer should sell somewhere maybe between 60 and 70 bucks or maybe even a little more so at the end of the day just having a really strong knowledge of brands will always help you wherever you are when it comes to thrifting but for me personally I do think it's time that I start moving into more wholesale opportunities especially since I have my wife on board now able to help me especially with the listing and doing some of these videos so that's all I got for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one Peace.